Good morning. It is 10 after 4. And why are we up so early today? Well, we're on our way to shoot one of the greatest GT races in the world. But the problem is, it starts at 5.45 a.m. Let's go to the Bathurst 12 hour. Yeah, I've been watching this race on TV for a lot of years and it's always been so great and so romantic. The idea that it starts at 5.45 a.m. Oh, that's so cool. Now that I'm actually here and have to get up at 3.30 to go to the racetrack, <laughs> it doesn't seem so romantic. Turns out a lot of people want to come to the start. I'm impressed by the amount of people that are already here. It is 25 after four. So, pretty shocked. Good on you, Aussie race fans. No, no, oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So, already all set up. I um, actually got a whole backpack full of stuff with me, which I don't normally do, but we're gonna be out on the mountain for probably four hours before we come back in, so. Uh, I've got my laptop with me. I don't have an SD card reader though, so I better go grab that. Also, I won't be able to send the start shots. Well, that's embarrassing. It's important that I keep these like, you know, little mess ups in here so you know that, you know, us professionals, sometimes we're not very professional. Okay, now I have an SD card reader, so now I'm ready to go. But I've got several lenses, my laptop, snacks, water, sunscreen, everything I'm gonna need for later. Uh, so I can be self-sufficient at the top of the mountain. Although I will be limited by my MacBook battery because I don't have a cord with me or anywhere to plug it in. So all I have to do is send a star shot though. So that'll be really quick. We're gonna make it on the vlog. Yeah, of Morning. It is 4.59. It is 4.59. Have you already done the detail? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, um, are you going to go to the top and watch the sunrise? Uh, well, we're going to shoot the start from one because we're on yep. bold, and then I'm yeah, the bus is going to take us right up. Yeah, so Sick. I'm going to go. I'm going to shoot the like the warm up behind the safety car from turn 23, and then yeah. like get the yeah, and then I'll speed up. Yeah, yeah I'm going to get that shot, Very, and then I'm yeah. going to have someone at turn one. Great description. The shot you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> This will be awful embarrassing, I'm sure. Thank you. That was, man, crazy. I went up to the girl from Triple Eight that I saw in Asia and I was like, I miss Asian Lamar. And she's like, why? Because it starts at four in the afternoon. And I was like, that too, but like, <laughs> I miss there being six people on the grid. <laughs> Hopped in the shuttle and we made it to the top of the mountain. And uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty picturesque. It's unreal. It, it's it's un unbelievable to do a race like this. Like I've always wanted to do this one. So this is amazing. It's so weird shooting a backwards 12 hour where it starts in the dark. I'm so used to doing Sebring where it starts in the daytime and ends at night. So it's weird, but you have very little night here. It's only like 30 minutes and then the sun starts to come up. So uh, we'll get some shots down uh, here where it's skyline on the outside, uh, just shooting through the fans. Most of the good shooting here is in the fan area. So if you have, you know, you want to live in Australia, you're local to Bathurst, you want to come here for the race, and you like photography, you're filming, it's a great racetrack to come to because most of the good filming is where you just can stand with a general admission ticket. Sunrise is pretty mint. 
there's like one spot to do it here. I actually had to like hang my camera basically over the fence to get the shot because you're fighting with so many people, but it worked really well. And then I got my laptop out, set the footage. Uh, the only reason I got a good spot at the fence was because this guy let me have his spot at the fence. So really appreciate that. No worries. Yeah, got the laptop out and uh, Set the shots. It's so surreal uh, having your laptop track side stuff. Like you're sitting on a grass embankment with your laptop editing. But now they already have the sunrise shots and they can post them. Because I'm not going to be down for a couple hours. So we're going to head down to Forest Elbow now and do some shooting there. And then, uh, yeah, it's just going to keep going and going and going. BMW branding is so it's really nice stuff to get when you're shooting for BMW but you hear me huffing and puffing like it's a lot of climbing to get back it was all downhill on the way here but it's all uphill on the way back Just at McPhillamy now, and uh, it's about 8:30. So I'm gonna head back now to do some editing and do the pits for a bit. I'm probably gonna do three or four hours in pit lane and go to Griffin's, shoot the chase, and then basically I'll be done. I don't think I'll come to the top of the mountain again. I did it for two hours yesterday as well, so got enough stuff for my content. That's the one thing you have to remember when we're shooting these races you know, as professionals. It's like as much as I might want to just shoot up here all day, I have to shoot what I need for my stuff. Like I really wanted to shoot the start from the top of the mountain, but BMW was on pole, so I went to turn one. It wasn't what I wanted to do, but it's what I had to do because it's what you need to do for the client. So uh, that always takes precedent over what I want to do. So uh, Stephen and I are going to head down now with two time and. Uh, Go do some editing. So. I haven't had a chance to do an update in a while. Really busy. There's a lot of action in the pits. Unfortunately, one of the BMWs was involved uh, in an incident with uh, Jetta Orkar. One of those. Lightning in the distance. Uh, so it's out of the race, which is unfortunate. Uh, but going down to the box again now. Looks like we're going to get a driver change shortly. And. There is pouring rain coming, so they're gonna be boxing soon for wet tires. Excuse me. Uh, camera because I, I left it in the media center because it was pouring rain. Uh, 
The rain did come, like I said in my last update, we shot a little bit at uh, the chase, which was really cool. Uh, now we're down uh, just in Murray's corner, corner, getting a few shots. Dan's trying to get lightning. There's a lot of lightning. Uh, he's trying to get some, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, stay here to the restart. There's another safety car. The Invitational cars keep causing safety cars, so um, we just keep getting involved in incidents. Um, so another safety car. Um, 46 BMW is still out there running. Umbrella is still out there, so it's all lots of work to do. But I think once I finish up here, I'll be in pit lane for the rest of the race. Of course, I won't make it to Griffin's Bend, which is the only turn I didn't get to, but you know what? Not bad for my first time here at Bathurst. The ball that one on. On the way Every time I check in, I'm walking down the media center stairs, but that's when I have time, when I'm walking. So there's about 20 minutes left. Uh, Grello with Matt Campbell driving. He's pulled out to another lead, though. Uh, Jules Gounant in second in the Sun Energy car. And uh, WRTs in P4 fighting for P3 for a spot on the podium. So I'm just headed to their garage to uh, fill what I've been told is an electric atmosphere. So I'm on my way there, and uh, I'll see you guys after the race. As you can see, we've jumped ahead a bit here and I'm shooting the celebration of the Manti EMA Porsche team that won the race. I was working for two of the drivers in that car, so I needed to grab this. I did head back to the WRT garage to grab a few high fives for my BMW video, but it was at that point I realized that maybe I'd lingered there a bit too long. So I started sprinting at full speed down to the podium. If you want to see more footage of me sprinting, check out the last vlog from Abu Dhabi where I sprinted the full length of the pit lane twice. I did make it down to the podium just in time to get the drivers celebrating on top of the car, which was fantastic. Shot the podium and then headed back to the media center. Perfect. Amazing. Now you decide who keeps it, but because it's only one. Yeah. <laughs> give it to give it to Bargain. <laughs> All right, so in the media center now, I've got one edit done, and I have two more to do. So, uh, very busy, but uh, it's for 20 to 8 now. I'm hoping I can be out of here by like 9, hopefully, fingers crossed. They're just some real edits, but I still have to do like sound design for this BMW video, but I don't need to rush the BMW video, so I think I'll let it sit once it renders, and then I'll do the... Um, the reels for the two drivers and then uh, get those done and send them and then I'll finish the BMW thing, maybe back at the hotel. Depends when my ride wants to leave because I am beholden to the person who's offered to drive me. So uh, we'll do that and then uh, I think when I get back to the hotel I'll kind of turn the lights on and give you a full debrief of kind of how the day went. And we'll see you then. Well that's disgusting. Um, yeah, so again, um, I'm not uh, at the hotel because when I got back to the hotel, I was absolutely destroyed. So I didn't shoot a debrief and I was like, I'll do it when I get to Skippy's place. Didn't do that either. Um, yeah. So I'm back at home now, uh, a couple weeks later. Um, I had a long flight home from Australia, three flights actually, still very jet lagged uh, in my new office. I've actually just kind of Spent my time being productive while jet lagged. I actually painted my office so you get to see this in my upcoming YouTube videos. But um, basically to recap, before I start recapping, I just wanna say the Bathurst 12 hour is probably the best, one of if not the best events I've ever worked. Um, it was incredible. Everyone was incredible. Um, the, you know, the race organizer was incredible. Everything ran smoothly and great. The fans were amazing. The people in the media center, like Richard Crail running all the media stuff, he was, you know, incredible to work with and very helpful. Um, the media center was stocked with snacks and drinks and all the people working in the media center were so helpful. The shuttle drivers, everything about the event was amazing. The broadcast was amazing. The folks at Supercars did an unbelievable job. The folks at Radio Le Mans, it's just an unbelievable event in an unbelievable location. And if you ever get the opportunity to go to this race, do it. You need to go to this race. It is unbelievable. You know, watching it on TV just doesn't do it justice. Put this race in your bucket list. I know it's a long way to go and going to Australia is an expensive trip, but if you ever do get the opportunity to go, do it because it is unbelievable. You will have such an amazing time. 
All right, now to get into the actual like debrief of the race. Uh, in the second half of the race, you'll notice if you've watched the whole vlog up to now, which like, thank you, by the way, and hit the like button, yeah, hit the like button, hit the like button. Um, in the second half, you notice I didn't really do as many updates because I got really busy and I think I mentioned that, but uh, uh, we got a lot of safety cars in the second half. It was a pretty slow moving race in the second half. Um, we did get some rain. I actually did get up to Griffin's Bend. I said that I wasn't going to get there, but I, we actually, Dan and I went. The amazing shuttle driver took us up there and actually stopped along the way so we could see some kangaroos, see the wild kangaroos that live there. So that was really cool. We did get some really cool shots at Griffin's Bend. That's actually become one of my favorite spots at this racetrack, but you can't pick a favorite spot because the track is so good, but it was an amazing experience to shoot this race. And I just want to say that the one thing that I really blew me away at, I experienced this when I went to Adelaide a couple years ago was how helpful everyone is, especially when they find out that you're not from there and that you have a appreciation and respect for Australian motorsport, you know? I was jazzed up all weekend. I was so happy to be there. I, it had been my dream to go to that racetrack. And, and I think that really resonated with the folks working the race. And anytime I needed anything, they, were, they would always help out. They were suggesting places to go and just giving me all the tips and all the lowdown. I especially want to thank, you know, today McLeod and Grant Rowley from Network R for like, they went with me on the track walk. And I want to thank uh, Stephen King, my good friend. He's from Vancouver, now living in Australia. So he was at the race. Uh, Jack Martin, the two-time Australian Motorsport Photographer of the Year, shout out. He was super helpful. Richard Crowell, like I said earlier. And uh, of course, Andrew Hall, Skippy, huge help. You know, just, I, I can't thank the guy enough. He was, I said, hey, I'm gonna come to Bathurst. And he said, you can stay in my house and you can drive with me. And he's just the nicest person in the world. So amazing for him to be so helpful and so kind. And, and Australians, I'm telling you, they're some of the kindest people in the world. So I really had an amazing time. I also wanna say thanks to Dan Bathy, the BMW uh, photographer for the weekend. He'd never been there either. So we kind of just teamed up and, and hung out and I had you know, a great time with Dan. We actually went to the opera house and stuff after the race and hung out and went to the aquarium and it was great. great Great company. I want to thank Emma from WRT for being amazing as per usual, <laughs> helping us out, getting us anything we needed. Um, that was, you know, she just did an amazing job. And thanks to all the people uh, handling BMW, doing PR and social media. Uh, everyone was amazing and just super great to work with. So I had an amazing event, an amazing time. And I am so looking forward to going back next year. I like, I'm going to be the guy just constantly on social media being like, go to this race. You need to go to this race. It's amazing. I get it now. Once you've stood at the top of the mountain, there's nothing like it. It was incredible. So thanks so much for watching. I'll just, you know, do all the annoying sign off stuff. I should say I did meet uh, Ryan McNamara from Lockdown Brand. He hooked me up with a whole bunch of new stuff. You can get these amazing uh, two-tone uh, snapbacks now, which are unreal. I think these are really sick. And th this might be my favorite hat I've ever owned. Uh, new shirts as well in different styles and designs. So if you want to get uh, some new stuff from LockdownBrand.com, run over there and use my discount code MARK10 when you check out and you will get 10% off your order and I get a small commission. So it's a really easy job to support me. The other thing you can do to support me that doesn't cost a dime is hitting the like button and subscribing and leaving a comment and sharing this video with your friends. It doesn't cost anything, but really helps me a lot. Great, easy way to support a creator that you like. And I really appreciate everyone for leaving comments and helping out and promoting my content. It means a lot. When I get a message from someone that says, hey Mark, you've really inspired me, or hey Mark, like I really love your content, that means so much to me and I really appreciate it. So uh, I've got more content coming soon. I'm gonna shoot some content here in my office. We got 12 hours of Sebring coming up. Really looking forward to sharing more of my 2024 season with everyone. It's already off to an amazing start. I went all the way around the world in three weeks, which is absolutely insane. And I'm just so, overjoyed that I get to do this for a living. Like it's just, it's unbelievable. So thanks again for following again, like, share, comment, all those great things. And I'll see you in the next one.